Hello everyone, my name is Kath Fay and I'm a, re I'm a resource teacher. And today I'm gonna to talk with you a little bit about how you can make your stories better. So if you're making storybooks, whether it's about a real life story, a personal narrative, something that happened to you, if you're making a book about that, or if you're working on a made up story with magic or with superheroes or something that might happen, what I'm gonna show you today can help you make that story even better. Okay, the thing that I'm going to show you how to do is to how to add details with words. You guys might already be really good at adding details with pictures. And today I'm going to show you how you can also add details with words. So I have a book that I'm working on and I already drew all the pictures. Maybe they could be a little bit better, but for now the pictures are fine. But I want to work today on adding some details in the words. So what I'm going to do is first I'm going to read you the story and then I'm going to think through kind of the end of the story because I didn't finish it and I'm going to think through what could I add to make it even better. So let's talk about a few things we could do. So we could add talk or dialogue. We could add what a character is saying. Another thing we could do is add an action, especially a small action that just sh that helps you understand what that character is going through or doing in that moment. We could also add setting. By that, we're talking about time. So what time of the day it is, or if it's winter time, or where you are. Like, is it important for them to know where you are in this story, or where the characters are, okay? So let me read you my story, and then I'll think through which detail maybe I wanna to add to make a part better. My story is a fiction story, it has a little bit of magic in it. It's called Puppy Potion. It's about a girl who can't find her sneaker and she and her brother have magical powers and they make a potion that when you drink the potion, it helps you smell as well as a dog. Dogs have a really strong sense of smell and she wants to be able to sniff out where her sneaker is in her house because she can't find it with her eyes. So it's called the missing sneaker, Puppy Potion. So I started it out already. I already worked on it. Tanya lost a sneaker. Where is my other sneaker? She yelled. So I already have a little dialogue there, right? I said what she was yelling. Where's my other sneaker? Tanya wanted to be able to smell better like a dog. So Tanya and her brother made a magical potion. Okay, I'm gonna leave that page. I added a lot of details to the picture of that one. You see how I'm showing them thinking about dog smell? But I didn't do much with the next page. It says, Tanya drank the potion. And then this next page, I didn't write any words yet. I just show her, she's looking under the bed for the sneaker, but it's not there. Can you see it's not there? Then I have her looking some, one more place. This is the couch. And then I just wrote, there it is. And there's her brother in the background. So I need to add more to that, I think. So let's see. I've got here about how she, she couldn't find her sneaker. And then she wa they made the potion, right? So I'm going to go to the next page where it says, Tanya drank the potion. Now let's think here. So if Tanya's drinking the potion, She's probably a little bit scared, right? Because she's putting something in her body. It's magical that she doesn't, she's never done it before. So maybe, um, and her brother, he's kind of like hoping it works, right? So Tanya drank the potion. Maybe I'll write, um, her brother, he crossed his fingers hoping it would work. Her brother crossed his fingers. You know how sometimes people cross their fingers to show like, I hope it works. Tanya drank the potion. Her brother crossed her fingers. So I'm showing an action that he did to show that he's hoping it works. Let's try that next page. So the next page is showing her looking. And I tried to show her nose in the picture smelling, but the picture doesn't really do it very much justice. So how could I say that with words? Maybe something about the action or the time, I'm thinking. Let's think for a second. So if she drank the potion, 
it might take a while to work. So maybe I want to say, um, I think maybe I'll say like one hour later, one hour later, so it took an hour for the potion to work. One hour later, later, and I want to say something about her nose. Tanya's nose started to twitch like this. That's what twitching is. So one hour later, Tanya's nose started to twitch. And then maybe I should say where she went. Um, she crawled into her room and looked under the bed. Ooh, I'm writing a lot. I'm kind of writing into my picture, but that's okay. One hour later, Tanya's nose started to twitch. That's a little action, right? She crawled into her room and looked under a bed, or the bed. She crawled into her room and looked under the bed. Yeah, I'm gonna say, I like crawled because it's kind of like more like what a dog would do, right? She's not turning into a dog, but her nose is. Maybe I should say, there's no, uh, I'm gonna say no sneaker on this page. No sneaker. So it wasn't under the bed, right? She looked under the bed, no sneaker. I'm gonna say she went or she crawled into the living room, the setting. She crawled into the living room and what'd she do under the couch? And sniffed under the couch and sniffed under the couch. There it is, she cried. I already had there it is. What can I say about the brother? Let's see. I could say he jumped up and down. Maybe I'll put in talk. Maybe I'll say like, um, we did it. We did it. Because her brother's so happy that it worked. So did you guys see what I did there? I had my story puppy potion and I was trying to add some detail with words. So it helped me to think about in this part of the story, what action could I show to help make that better? And I showed the action of this. Or what setting, what, what place or time could I add to show more about that story? So I talked about how it took one hour and they went to the living room. So in, when you're writing your book, why don't you give that a try? When you get to a page, ask yourself, is there an action that I could add to this store part? Or can I, do I, does, is it helpful to tell them when this part took place or where they were? You can always also add talk. I think you guys know a lot about that. So any of these will help make parts of your story more detailed and better. I hope you have a great time. Can't wait to read some of these books. I know that you guys are doing a wonderful job. All right. Take care. Bye-bye.